Hi Moxots. I always read your tweets, you know. I need to make some new emotes and everything. I just really had... I wish I had more time to prepare everything, setting some things up. Need to practice more. No, thank you, Peabody. <laughs> I'm checking my own stream on a second monitor to see if everything is going good. Magia! <laughs> yeah, I know Moxats, it's just that I receive so many tweets every day, so many private messages, it's just really difficult keeping track of them all. Okay, the following alerts seem to work. I'm just unsure if the subscribers and donations um, are gonna work. Like the names of those people are going to be added at the bottom, I'm just not sure. Hi, Danny. <laughs> Thank you, Oblivion. Thank you, Dragon Ball. I bet you like Dragon Ball. Ciao, Tati Sakura. <laughs> Tiz Gistrefr... No, non ti sei perso niente, <ride> ho appena iniziato. Sto aspettando qualche minuto prima di iniziare. Uh, it's so nice speaking Italian. I swear I would be much more entertaining if I had to speak Italian. So when are we going to amputate Ron's leg? <ride> Eternal Mirage, yes. Uh, actually, I wish I had spent all these jewels way earlier. It's kind of no use spending them right now, so... It's just to pass some time together and talk about the future of Union Cross. The Kingdom Hearts saga itself and I'm very very curious to know your prediction, your opinions and you know everything else. Ah I didn't categorize my stream. I totally forgot. Uh, I'll do it uh, for the next time. Please speak a little in Italian. Um... No, non fa niente, dai. Per la prossima volta poi aggiusto. Ho fatto un po' le cose di fretta e quindi non ho potuto prepararmi come volevo. Buona fortuna per le pesche. Perché... Ah, per... ok, per i pollo, ok. It was July. I think yeah, it was summer. So it's been almost a decade since we are seeing all these cartoon style Kingdom Hearts title. The browser version was very different in a way. You could never actually lose. Here in the mobile version you have to spend jewels in order to keep going after a uh, KO. In the PC version you could just spend the AP to retry the boss battle. Actually not to retry, just to keep the fight 
keep going with the fight. So you could basically never lose. It was very fun because you could just free roam all of the Disney worlds. It was divided into quests, like here. Yeah, I, I can complete the timeline project. <laughs> I didn't really mean to go back to it, but so many people are requesting, so who am I to disappoint them? I wasn't really planning because the timeline project was, you know, just something I wanted to do to entertain us for the release of Kingdom Hearts 3. So I've always been fully and completely aware that all of the future Kingdom Hearts Union Cross updates were going to have many flashbacks, flash forwards, and which means it was basically impossible to create the perfect chronological order of the events. So I just told myself at least to wait for Union Cross to actually end, so I could have all of the scenes in my hands and recreate the first 11 or 12 episodes. There is no... no, you didn't lost anything. Yeah, um... Yeah, I don't know how to feel about it, either. About Square Enix uh, shutting up the shop. It was just too sudden, and... I mean, I basically never shop on the game, but I can feel the disappointment for other people. Uh, it's, uh, um, in realtà non ho precisamente in testa uno schedule preciso. Per adesso ho iniziato così, magari io mi aspettavo che l'aggiornamento di Union Cross usci finale uscisse domani. Però non hanno scritto niente su Twitter, quindi settimana prossima se ne parlo. Farò qualche serata così in cui giocherò un po' così... Ci devo ancora pensare bene. So I was saying... I thought that the final update was going to be released tomorrow. Because, you know, at least Japanese players could have a couple of weeks to play the story. The final part of the story. But they didn't say anything on their official Twitter page, so... I suppose next week will be the week for the final update. So what did they pull? Oh, Aurora. I... Okay, these are the Melody of Memories one. Why is this boost? Peter Pan, okay. A supernova Peter Pan? They made a supernova Peter Pan? Why? They didn't make uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Kingdom Hearts 3 version. They didn't make any medals. Oh, okay, a VIP medal, okay. Totally forgot. Yeah, most medals are meant to be used in PvP. Actually, PvP wasn't really interesting to me. I played some of them when the mode was just released. I, I, I remember misunderstanding the meaning of the PvP for this game. I thought you could just play against your own friends in real time. 
instead you're just playing data version of other players. It still worked, but not exactly what I had in my mind. Okay. I think I'm gonna switch to Dark Road soon. I've got even many more medals in the Japanese version, like more than 200s. Have you seen a mod about this version of Vanitas for Kingdom Hearts 3 PC version? I've seen a screenshot on the other day. It was really cool. Okay, so this is still the melody of, me melody of memory. Man. I always find funny how they <laughs> made Roxas, Axel and She on reversed medals when you already know they're not actually bad guys. Okay, <laughs> My, a friend of mine is saying I could say I should be saying Vanitas, not Vanitas. Vanitas means void, emptiness from Latin. The right way to pronounce Vanitas is Vanitas. It's been anyway. It's not the first time Nomura pronounced the name in the wrong way. So, if you want to sound cooler than normal people, remember saying Vanitas, not Vanitas. I'm never gonna spend all these jewels. <laughs> oh, this Mickey was a, a VIP medal too, I think. They didn't use the Namine artwork from the King Hearts 3 cover art. <laughs> they always forget about Namine. Uh, this one? Never saw it before. Okay, so let me hear some of your prediction for uh, the big finale. I'll let you know my own. What are you expecting for the final quest to happen? Yeah, I think in Japanese he is actually called Vanitas. I remember Master Xehanort calling him like that in the very first Birth by Sleep trailers. He used to say Vanitas in the Japanese version. Way boss. I swear I already pulled a different Axel who, who was just almost the same. They basically ran out of <laughs> poses for Axel. What the hell is this? Oh, okay. They made a medal for this. They didn't even make a medal for Yozora. Yozora could just be the final, the very final medal before the game shut down.
All right, I I chose I chose not to get this one back in September. I already had too many blue medals, so <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yeah, prediction. Let me know. Who is the true dandelion that Lushu mentioned in the last story update? Ciao Andrea. So Eris says Trelizia is the true dandelion. So she's the one wrapped in the white coat, in the white blanket. I don't think it's Trelizia. I think Trelizia will be seen again way way later i mean i think she doesn't have a body anymore for now the truth and the lion the player themselves that's uh, actually an interesting theory satria yeah my name <laughs> actually happened to be in the Union Cross section from the Keyblade Graveyard. You know, when Sora is gliding on the Keyblade, my name just popped up there for the Japanese version. They chose like 300 people for um, from that kind of contest to end up in the in that scene. Yeah, I won that contest. I <laughs> that was like the best way to me to celebrate the release of Kingdom Hearts 3, being part of the actual game. Okay, let, let me see what Rapranx said. Can't wait to see Venitas. Okay, so they just need, again, an excuse to explain why Ventus can't remember the past. Poor, we poor Ven, anyway. He really can catch a brief. You know, I'm just gonna switch to Dark Road now. Okay, my own predictions. I think the game wants you to believe that the true Dandelion is Ventus. Just like the game at first wanted you to think that Lorian was the one who killed Strelitzia. I think being Ventus, the true dandelion is kind of too obvious, too predictable, but it's still, it can still be true. Sometimes the most obvious theories are the real ones. The content of the black box, I... <laughs> it's anyone's guesses right now. Ventus too much obvious, I... Okay, so... Um, let's start by saying that... I 
out of the dandelions there are a few people who of course we already know are going to be hmm, what did I put? are going to be teleported to the future don't forget there is still arena <laughs> we haven't seen arena for almost two years by now I remember she was last seen in a story update right before the release of Kingdom Hearts 3 in a story update from the Japanese version Arena made her appearance in the global version um, three four months later Wow So in the very last quest we still need to see how Arena fits into all the mess I think Irina is going to um, suddenly come in wanting to help Lorium. Then she just gets in the middle of the fight or something, or something, and she ends up in the lifeboat without even knowing. Yeah, Black Friend TV is telling me <laughs> weird fact. In the Italian version of the Kingdom Hearts saga, back from Chain of Memories, they renamed Larxene without the final E. So it was called like Larxen. We never know why. So besides Arena, we are gonna see how Loriam and Ventus go to the future and why Brain and Ephemer remain in the past. I mean, we, we don't know yet about Ephemer, I think he's going to be stuck in the past or something until he gets some kind of connection with Sora at the Keyblade Graveyard at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3 I don't think Ephemer actually goes into the future Ephemer and Brain should be the only ones staying in the past I kind of feel like Brain choose to remain back, to stay back and let uh, his other friends go to the future because, you know, we already know, it's confirmed that Heracuse brain is uh, Heracuse's uh, ancestors About Ray Chase, he's been actually so kind to let me use his own voice. He recorded that scene uh, himself. He just posted a Twitter, <laughs> a Twitter post uh, containing his own uh, registration, and so I just contacted him um, uh, on a, via a private message, and he told me I could just simply use his voice for my own uh, purpose. Strelitzia is the mother of Sora. The mother of Sora will still remain the biggest mystery <laughs> in the Kingdom Hearts saga. Yeah, that was really generous of him. Actually, when I asked him if I could use his script, uh, there were already a few people who already used it. So I wanted to be extra sure and ask him anyway. I wish she could record all of the previous dialogues with the Master of Masters. It's really cool how, after all, so many years, I mean, at least four years later, 2.8 came out four years ago. 
he still knows how to make a great performance for the Master of Masters. I'm pulling cars, I'm not even looking at them. We need a pool, wow. Watch Sora's Matter Biscuit. <laughs> Ah, I totally forgot about Scold. Scold should be pronounced Scold because of the Norse mythology. Even though I prefer Scald. Fits better for uh, a girl. So Scold should be, of course... Should go to the future as well. I think she is the only one who can be subject X. Tom Bazooka Gaming, yeah, I think she is the only possible choice because she's just the only girl who can be subject X. I mean, it's the only girl, only girl left who comes from the past. It can't be Arena. It can't be Strelitzia. Not Ava. I don't think it's Ava. Lushu will know. I mean, Lushu was still working with Ansem the Wise was really close to Apprentice Xehanort. So I think Lushu will know if Ava was there. In the secret ending of Kingdom Hearts 3 we know that we learn that Lushu has no idea where Ava actually is. Called Lorian, Ventus, and Elrina. Yeah, those four people are should be the only ones going to the future. I'm guessing we might fight the Foretellers in Kingdom Hearts 4. I want so much for the Foretellers to be the bad guys. I mean, they are so great just having them as... just imagine them in a boss fight. They are like the, the true real masters of the Keyblade, so... Um, correct me if I'm wrong, in the secret reports in Kingdom Hearts 3, did they actually say that Subject X has dark hair? Uh, was she actually described? Okay, so she was described having dark hair. Tom Bazooka game. Yeah, I I saw some of them. Okay, so if she was described having dark hair, I, she's the only option for being subject X. 
I actually expected some more from Scald. I mean, she starts when she first appeared in the game. She really gave me the feeling of her being really, really a strong character, much more like Tifa from Final Fantasy VII. She really remembered me, gave me that Tifa feeling. But she didn't do much in the end, if you think about it. I mean, she just stands there next to you, next to Ephemer, giving her support, but... So I'm hoping she does something really useful at the end. Oh raga, troppo italiani, calmi! <laughs> I need to speak English, stop Italian! I need to practice English. Sto scherzando, ovviamente. Yeah, I think we all felt this way about Kari. Poor girl. People are too mean with Kari. When I made the 13th Clash video, I used Kairi against the organization data so much that I actually felt like, okay, sh she was supposed to fight like that. I wanted Kairi to to struggle in a fight, to give her best. And when I played as her when recording those fights was actually so satisfying. Yeah, Nomur is still holding out on Kairi. Definitely. Because you know she is definitely gonna have some more she needs more screen time. She is probably gonna have, have what she needs when the next chapter comes out. Honestly, we must, you know, we must all agree about Kairi being kind of unlucky because she started her own training right when things were already going uh, <laughs> were already really really dangerous so i can understand why she ended up like this thank you for time like uh, thank you moxats i the timeline was so so fun to make, especially the days portion of the timeline was probably something that people wanted to see, have been wanting to see for more than a decade, since when 358 over two days came out for a Nintendo DS. An Aqua Kyrie game, why not? We need more girls. We need more girls who can fight. And not just standing there and helping people because thanks to the love, power of love, connection, hearts, you know. I'm still pulling cards, I'm not even knowing what the hell am I looking at. <laughs> you were at the gym, I miss the gym so much. We still can't go to the gym here in Italy. I mean, we can't basically get out.
still hoping Namine will get a keyblade someday. I don't think Namine is gonna be like the keyblade wielder type. I mean, she is just too, too pure. <laughs> I can't stand seeing Namine getting hurt. Okay, I got Marusha. He is my favorite organization member. Do you think the Master of Masters will be the next main villain? <laughs> I don't think the Master of Masters is actually the villain. Of course, I may be wrong, but he is just too amazing as a character. I don't think he's just going to be the simple villain figure. He's going to be way more than that. So yeah, he's going to be present for for the next titles too. Demix and Luxor. We know nothing about Demix and Luxor. We know that thanks to Xemnas that even Luxor and Demix come from the past. We're missing the very final part of the story and we never saw Demix and Luxor yet. Please don't tell me that Demix is the master of masters. If he actually turn ends up being the master of masters, <laughs> I'm out. I'm totally out from the game, you'll never hear about me anymore. Just please don't. Okay, let me check something about on Twitch. I think my computer is going to die. Just a moment, I'm updating some info here on the Twitch page. Of course, in the category section here on Twitch, all of the Kingdom Hearts games are listed except for... Okay, Kingdom Hearts key, it's here. It's lagging so much... Of course, in the category section here on Twitch, all of the Kingdom Hearts games are listed except for... Okay, Kingdom Hearts key, it's here. It's lagging so much. Okay, at least I updated the description and the title. Okay. 
Do you think the player is connected to Xehanort? I think he actually is, because at the start of Dark Road we see Xehanort having some kind of reminiscence, some kind of memories connected to the player from Union Cross, so I'm not sure. Luxord is core Leonis of the Verum Rex universe. <laughs> Why not? I know a friend who would be very very happy to play an alternate version of Final Fantasy XV. Well, actually many of us would be happy. So player found uh, his her way to the Xehanort stats. I don't know. I I can't really predict where the player is gonna end to. Black Friday. <laughs> I thought personally about this. Ago. Personification of light. Hopefully Vern Rex will fill those shoes. I'm hoping that as well. I just want Disney to still be a part of it. Even though the, the saga seems to be going to a more serious feeling. I can't imagine a Kingdom Hearts game without Donald and Goofy, so... If you wanna keep Disney out of it, I doubt it's gonna be the same Kingdom Hearts we are used to. So yeah, put your Zora in it, make a more realistic kind of world, but just keep Donald and Goofy, please. I think Kingdom Hearts 3 is like... The maximum expression of the friendship between Sora, Donald and Goofy, more than anyone else. Just the fact that we had to wait like 15 years in order to have Sora, in order to play again as Sora with Donald and Goofy at his side. Plot twist player becomes Xehanort. That's actually something I've been thinking about too. It will just feel so wrong though. I mean, we, we as Sora have been fighting against our own character, so I hope in, it's not gonna be like that. Trinity Trio was awesome, yeah. Yeah, I think one of the biggest perks about Kingdom Hearts 3 is the way they treated Sora, Donald and Goofy. I am very very happy. We know the games has so many flaws and that's okay. But 
if there is something I can't really complain about Kingdom Hearts 3 is how they made the friendship between Sora, Donald and Goofy. I'm I'm really really happy. I think the biggest flaw of Kingdom Hearts 3 was there were too many events too many important events which were going to happen so many people to save of those all of those people had their own matters their own issues to resolve and when you try to put so much stuff together you can't really make everyone happy Okay, I'm just keeping pulling horrible stuff. Just imagine if they release a new banner tomorrow featuring Yozora and... <laughs> so I saw just earlier a mod on... Uh, a fight against Lurxine in the Arendelle, at the beginning of the Arendelle visit. How would you feel if we had to fight Marluxia, Roxine, Luxor, even Vexen in the Disney worlds? More like, you know, in a Kingdom Hearts 2 final mix, if you had to fight them, during the actual Disney story. It wouldn't really make sense because, you know, the two organization 13 needed Sora to gather the seven guardians of light. So having Marluxia and Raxine fight Sora, it wouldn't really make sense. They would fight just to test him, just to have fun with him. I can see Larkseen doing that. Yeah, of course, every time we start a new game, Sora always loses his power. <laughs> they run out of excuses sooner or later. Like, if we had to play as Riku in the next Kingdom Hearts game, how would you explain if Riku was level 1 again? Hi Danny, I just saw your message. Thank you for being here. No, I'm actually not fluent in Japanese. I can read some basic Japanese, but that's it. Just the necessary stuff to, you know, navigate through the menus. Kairi being level 1 will be explained because Aqua wanted Kairi to start over from a new training and. I want to play as the Shion again. As much as I'd love playing as Shion, I don't think they're going to make a, a game where we can actually play as Shion. Of course, they're going to let us play as Roxas, but Shion seems 
unlikely. Yeah, I can see Roxas being playable. It was so great when I had to play as Roxas in the timeline. Of course it was just a mod, but seeing in that context really made me fall in love with Roxas. I gave him so much love, so much care. Talking about Roxas, I just pulled a Christmas version of Roxas. <laughs> Why? <laughs> they actually use this artwork. You know what made me feel that something was wrong about Dark Road cards? They they actually started way too soon with releasing Kingdom Hearts 3 themed cards. So it was kind of unusual because you are already using the best models for the cards. You know, like here, you can start a new game with Abu, Shadow cards, in order to make a progressive growth of your power. But they start releasing Kingdom Hearts 3 cards very very way too soon so that was like a bell rang in my head i told myself why are they already releasing cards featuring characters being the final part of the games and a few months later a couple of months later, they announced they are going to shutting down the game. I think something went wrong. Like with their marketing decisions, something. I don't think they were actually planning of making Dark Road last less than one year. Something went wrong. They were kind of forced to shut down the game sooner than expected. I mean, the way Dark Road starts, you can never ever think that it's gonna be just like four episodes. You know, when Xehanort is at the graveyard. That's a flash forward of four years, I think. So it's really, really weird thinking that the next update is gonna end the story of Dark Road as well. The closer of Flash has something to do with it. Actually, I didn't know. I don't think the game was selling as much as it used to do. I mean, it makes sense because they were releasing always the same medals over and over again. You couldn't feel anymore that need of a new medal. Oh, let me see this, let me see this. I mean, it's such an awesome artwork and it has Fairaga. Of all the great attacks you could give to this card, you actually choose Fairaga. Yeah, jewels were still being purchased by people, of course. But 
I remember not changing my own medals for a long time because okay new medals were released I just didn't think I could I should be pulling them because their effects were basically the same of the ones I already pulled a week earlier so that was something that changed gameplay wise from a meta standpoint that was the situation okay, let, let me see what Kokuto no Alex is saying Ok, so Hokuto no Alex. Another game set between Union Cross and Dark Road. I mean, seems unlikely because I think people are really gonna get tired of playing again a game from the past. At least that's how I see it. However, that's true that there are a lot of things that need a proper explanation. As I said, they never showed Demix or Luxord. We know, we definitely know we, they come from the past. It's very unlikely that Luxord and Demix are gonna appear in the very last story update. I mean, they could, but they didn't have any background of sort, so it's kind of weird. So I, th I think the next titles are just gonna be about the future. At least I hope they will be. Okay, Adobe Flash support ended a couple months ago. I didn't know. Yeah, that might have something to do with it. Was it actually confirmed that the story of Dark Road is gonna end? in May or is gonna get updates in the offline version from September I think they confirmed that the story the actual story is gonna end for Dark Road 2 and that the game is gonna turn into an offline version in September I read that the game is going to be unavailable from June, July and August and it's gonna come back in September in an offline version. I think that's what I read. Maybe the story will actually continue in September but will they really update a game that won't have any shop included people won't be able to spend money on it i don't really see square releasing story updates for a game that is where people are not gonna spend money because i know the shop is, won't be available for dark road starting september Looks or the Demix may appear in Dark Road. Dark Road... Um, so, y you think they have the same age of Xehanort? I don't know. I 
unless Demix and Luxor are gonna be kind of teleported to the future from Dark Road. I think one of the major issues about Dark Road was that you need the jewels, the same currency from Dark uh, from Union Cross, to pull new cards. If Dark Road had its own currency, maybe things would be different. I myself never wanted to spend jewels for new cards because I come from like five years of gaming experience in Union Cross and I always want to spend jewels for new medals, not for new cards. That might be it too. I just hope it won't end in a cliffhanger. Actually, I'm 99% sure it's gonna end with a cliffhanger. It won't be Kingdom Hearts otherwise. What about the other masters? The other masters should be teleported to the future because I think Lushu made them appear in the present time the same way Maleficent went back to the present because Lushu had the memories of them I don't know what the medium is but I think Lushu summoned them the same way the master of masters goes back goes to the future No Kingdom Hearts will be complete without secret endings. Actually, I'm hoping they're not gonna add secret quests, secret cutscenes after completing Proud Mode, because <laughs> actually, where am I at in Proud Mode? I'm very, very <laughs> left behind. <laughs> What if the box was the medium? I used to make proud mode because I needed jewels talking about four years ago Isn't he cute? I'm gonna miss him so much, you have no idea. I mean, I remember when I chose his green hair and then 2.8 was released. At the very first part of back cover we see the CGI version of the character and the hand up having green hair so <laughs> I felt like hey that's me we went through so many adventures with this little guy which other outfits I had wow I haven't used this for he still keeps the green hair <laughs> anyway I never changed his hair color I think Yeah, he still has green hair. <laughs> yeah, I never used a female bush. I think that's called destiny, yeah. <laughs> or maybe Nomura is spying on me. Well, 
let's put streets here and Sora because why not? Oh, this street had 150% power extra attack. Skip, of course. Um. Nah. I want Sora to be at the top of the list. So. The pranks are making a Murart style drawing of my union, union group. Yeah, good idea. I re have to remember to record as many gameplay parts as I can before the games won't be won't let you play, won't let you fight again. Because I may need some fight scenes had to turn background music off because if I had to use them for the timeline I need these scenes these fight scenes very soon they didn't even update any events I mean not even a commemorative event for the closure of the game I'm a bit disappointed Where am I at in proud mode? Let me see. Yeah, I missed like 300 quests. I loved how in the last update we got to fight alongside all of the dandelions. Yeah, I that was one of on the one of the things I wanted to see so much. They even attack all together, it's not like they each take their own turn to, f to fight, they just make a combined combo, it was so great to watch. My own party was really cool, I wish I helped more with the raid bosses, with collecting lux, I just never really had the time. It was really, really time consuming. Okay, I can't stay with the screen with music because of copyright. Hi, I'm Rick Symphoria. I still worry about my accent, <laughs> I can't help. I actually was level um, 300. There was an event uh, a few months ago that let you make the same raid boss over and over, and that let you level up very, very easily. Thank you, Eternal Mirage. Last question, then I go to sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep too. It's almost midnight over here in Italy. What do you think are gonna be explained? Okay, um, that's a tough question, <laughs> because you know, you can't really predict how much the game wants you to know and what doesn't want you to know. 
I think they're definitely gonna explain why Brain and Ephemer don't go to the future. This if my theory of Ephemer remaining staying back is confirmed to be true. They're gonna show us how Ventus, Lorium, Arena and Scold are gonna be teleported to the future. I think at, at least we are gonna see that. I don't think we are gonna see the content of the box either. I don't think we are gonna see... Actually, I'm not sure we probably can finally see the Keyblade. I mean, the title of the game comes from the Keyblade itself, from that Greek letter. Will the foretellers never unhood themselves in the future? I think we are gonna see them unhooded sooner or later. I don't think Ephemer died. Because, you know, that's not exactly something that happens in the Kingdom Hearts universe. Yeah, it's mentioned the word death a couple of times in the final world. We are never gonna see people actually dying. They may fall asleep. That can happen. If you wanna get rid of a character, just let him go to sleep. I hope we never know what's in the box. <laughs> That's gonna happen. That's what's actually gonna happen. We'll never know the content of the black box. Do we all agree Ventus was the one in the white robe she was carrying? Um, we were talking about it earlier. I don't think Ventus is the one in the white robe. I mean, that's what the game wants you to think. That's what the game wants you to believe. And since it would be too obvious, the children the lion might be the actual player. Or, you know, one of those people will go to the future. We need, anyway, an explanation of the meaning of true dandelion. Why true? Final word is a real place in Bolivia. <laughs> okay, let's make a, a trip to the final world all together. Next trip, after pandemic, everyone, let's go to the final world. What about the MX as Truth and the Lion? Hey, Joyev, <laughs> ciao. 
The MX was true than the Lion. We never saw the MX before, so it would be really underwhelming if he was the one in the in the white robe. The one in the white robe should be a character we already know, someone we already saw in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Um, Hokuto, your mega theory is just actually not very far from the possible truth. I just don't really like the fact that the player is gonna kind of turn into Xehanort. I think the player is just gonna end up like Ephemer, maybe just alongside its Ephemer himself, in a sort of realm where they stay connected, they watch over the future, they protect the future from above, so to speak, so that Ephemer can get in contact with Sora at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3. Ciao Dulio, grazie per esserci stato. Grazie Alessaro 92. What if the player did what Ven asked of Sora, like, like the player residing within Xehanort's heart? That could be possible, like finding some kind of refuge within Xehanort's heart. The player is connected to Xehanort. That seems to be certain. Because, you know, Xenort is having some reminiscence of the player's memories. So it's like a, if a part of the player is hiding inside Xenort's heart, that may be possible. We just need to see how Xenort is connected to the player. I mean, how they become connected. Because Dark Road happens hundreds of years later than Dark Road. Ciao Andrea! No, thank you. Tra poco stacco anch'io, sì. Cioè, there is so much stuff to talk about and... I want to speak more with you, so... In Dark Road si parla pure di un eventuale nonno di Heracus. Um, in Dark Road we... <laughs> ti rispondo in inglese. <laughs> in Dark Road we just know that Heracus... Well... In Union Cross we see Brain wielding Heracus Keyblade. So... We learn that... Heracus... Um, Bra Brain is uh, Heracus' ancestors, so... They didn't, I don't think they mention um, Heracus' grandparent, just say one of his uh, ancestors. Tati Sakura, lo sai che Black Fran è stato il mio coinquilino per quattro anni e mezzo? <laughs> Sì, 
So che vi seguite su Twitter, quindi ne approfitto per specificarlo. Are we in fact already half the north? That, that's it. That's true. Are you gonna finish the story next stream, Everglow? Yes, that's what I'm. I meant to say that earlier. Um, next stream, maybe not just the the next one. I'm gonna stream live the final part of the story, so we can all enjoy together the final events. We can become. I mean, we can be shocked together. I don't know what to expect. Um, Voltix, I'm not sure. Um, this was just a really my first approach, so I wanted to see how long. Um, okay, it's been one hour and a half. I, f I think we can stop here. I didn't even spend all of my jewels because it's actually boring. <laughs> More boring than I thought. I mean, I'm not trying to pull a specific medal, so I'm aware it's boring to watch. Anyway, the purpose of the stream wasn't pulling the medals, was just having my first contact with you and wanted to see how good am I when speaking English in front of a camera. <laughs> I give you my jewels, why not? I just don't know how to spend them. I never thought there would be a time would come where I wouldn't know how to spend my jewels. I remember farming them so much because I wanted that specific medal, so it's really a weird feeling. Thank you Eternal Mirage for being here. Thank you Tati Sakura. Thank you Aerith. Thank you, universe. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I I will just thank you, everyone here and now. So, thank you, Akuto. Ah, ma sei italiano? <laughs> ok, potevi dirlo prima. <laughs> ma siccome hai fatto discorsi abbastanza lunghi e intricati, ti rispondevo direttamente in italiano. Che bella Firenze. Ci sono stato una volta in gita, non ci sono più tornato. Maledizione. Thank you, Tony. Thank you for the Italian accent. <laughs> it's terrible. Just be honest with yourself, it's terrible. I even had the Southern Italy accent, so it's very... You know... It's very deep. Marco fai un raid prima di chiudere, Dino non so come si fanno, se me lo spieghi adesso su Telegram... Yeah, I'm happy, it went very well. Non vedere l'ora di conoscerti di persona e passare un pomeriggio parlando di Kingdom Hearts? Beh, ti prego, no. <ride> ne ho abbastanza. No, sto scherzando, ovviamente. I'll trade you my boring American accent for your Italian accent. I actually like American accent. We'll be streaming some Kingdom Hearts PC version in the future. Which means I'll have to speak and play at the same time. That's when things are gonna be difficult. Watch Evergirl Flex in real time. <laughs> uh, actually, when I'm... If I, 
be prepared for many many game overs. I haven't played Kingdom Hearts 3 for uh, 3 months by now. The story of the Kingdom Hearts or Kingdom Hearts 3 I didn't play it for When was the last time I played the Kingdom Hearts 3? Was like um when Remind came out. It's been more than one year, so the beginning part is the most difficult. Flexing those streaming muscles. <laughs> My muscles are growing up. At least, I think. Yeah, my PC is kind of being good enough to su support the PC version of Kingdom Hearts 3. I wish I could play with the maximum settings, but it's not possible right now. Ciao, Tati Sakura, buonanotte. Yeah, I've been playing Kingdom Hearts since the first one was released. Good night, Satria. I'm just chatting a bit with some friends of mine. There's a friend of mine who is an Italian friend of mine who is playing the PC version of Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm gonna write his name right now. It's Black Front TV. Okay, I wrote it in the chat. If you feel like it, could you just leave a follow for my friend? Feel free to watch him playing the game. I think he's at the Olympus part, so he recently just started the game. Moxas, high five. Kingdom Hearts 2 for PS2 was where you started. It must be so weird playing as Roxas without knowing the meaning of uh, his flashbacks, his dreams. Is Moxas. I, I, hopefully I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> Why? Tell me one of your theories. Talking to Sukot Suwolf. Okay, just got a donation. I saw charity with the jewels in his hands. Why didn't the donation appear down here? I I saw your donation. Thank you so much. Okay, it's, it just appeared. I need to fix this, I'll fix it real quick, recent donation. I was sure that I had to correct this. 
Okay, just a second. Okay. Okay, it appeared. Thank you, Eternal Mirage. I really, really appreciate it. Always feel so embarrassed when I see people spending money for me. You deserve my own heart as well. I think one of the funniest thing about... I mean, just try to play Kingdom Hearts 1, then Kingdom Hearts 2 without playing Chain of Memories in the middle. You start Kingdom Hearts 2 with Sora not remembering what happened, why he wakes up in... Box has donated 20... Are you crazy? <laughs> No, please don't. Oh, I mean, I can let you. Okay, I need to fix this right now. Otherwise, you won't appear. It was 100. What the touch? Yeah, sorry, I can't make you appear here. The top donation, that's something I need to fix. Okay, maybe I did it. Okay, no, I didn't. I'll have to fix this once I close the stream. Okay, I'm waiting for... Thank you so much, Moxas, really. Just know uh, I did see it. He's trying to buy my Titan X. <laughs> I don't think it's worth the money. Hey, bad gamer. Um, can say for long, but I just want to say thank you for. You. Thank you, thank you so much for pa for coming here. Yeah, I'm gonna do more streams. I wish more people will follow so we can all speak together. You can't find your wallet where well, do your best and find it now. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, I didn't know that my Italian accent could be sold. I may create a business around it. Oh, th thank you, Sukotsu Wolf. I, yeah, it's fine uh, either way. So, um, thank you so much. I hope you're not trying to buying my Italian accent too.